Well, uh, the, the trilemma states that, um, that of those following three things, uh, democracy, um, uh, economic integration, and um, national sovereignty, you can have only uh, two at, the, at, at, at any one time. And so therefore you <coughs> always have to sacrifice at least one of those three things. I think um, you know, if I had to come up with a, a context in which my trilemma is particularly apt, I couldn't have come up with a better example than the, um, uh, than the EU right now, the Eurozone. I think the, 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 the choices that the Eurozone faces uh, right now is um, either some kind of um, <coughs> technocracy, a technocratic uh, fiscal union where the strong surplus countries impose a set of iron disciplines on uh, the southern countries, the peripheral countries, um, that requires a significant diminution of our normal understandings of what democracy means. Um, or um, a much more complete uh, fiscal and political union uh, where there's much greater institutional harmonization, much greater transfers, and, and much greater use of the central, center's fiscal resources um, to um, assist uh, the populations of the uh, most severely affected countries. That would be sort of like a European equivalent of the way that the United States system works. Um, and the other third alternative is really a, a dissolution, where um, if political union isn't a, um, a, 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 a prospect on offer, uh, then, uh, then a certain amount of economic disunion uh, is really the only um, um, possibility left if we do not want to sacrifice democracy. Uh, and that would imply the, um, uh, the collapse of the Eurozone, uh, the reintroduction of national currencies so that countries have the policy instruments to increase their competitiveness and, and, uh, and get out of their problems. It took the United States 100 years to uh, become uh, what they are now. Uh, maybe this is all too soon for the European Union. Um, I, I think, unfortunately, at this point, um, it, it may well be, and I think probably two valuable years were lost uh, in, after the crisis struck um, in imposing a series of unrealistic austerity programs on uh, Greece and uh, the other countries, programs that it was clear from the outset wouldn't work simply because uh, these countries would be sliding deeper and deeper into recession, making their debt problems look um, much less <coughs> um, uh, 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 sustainable. Um, I wish political leaders in Europe, uh, Merkel and Sarkozy in, in particular, had used that time uh, to make a leap into that uh, political union, or at least make a political commitment to that kind of a union and develop a narrative around that which they could sell to their domestic publics. Um, you may be right that now, at this point in the crisis, that uh, it's, it, is, it, it may be quite late. Um, I've, I, I think the, the, the misfortune of the European Union is that it got stuck somewhere midway in its, uh, in its institutional uh, process of full integration. Um, uh, by a crisis that really, in terms of its inception and origin, wasn't its own doing. Um, nobody would have expected a financial crisis coming, originating from the United States, of such a proportion. Um, so I always interpreted the European ex experiment in the Eurozone um, as uh, being guided towards an ultimate goal of something that would look much more like uh, the United States of Europe, not in exactly the same form, but with much greater shared sovereignty and much greater sense of a shared political community at the same time. Um, but uh, that does take a lot of time and, and it hadn't happened by the time the crisis struck. <laughs>